Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Contenders Football. Six box half case random team break number one. No vet common ship, all 32 teams are in. Obviously we're chasing Kyler's. This is last year's draft press. Class Drew Locke, DK Metcalf, Josh Jacobs, and a ton of other players that we can chase as well. It's a random team break. Big thanks all of these folks for getting into the action. <clears throat> if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that filler break we did, one of those Donruss football packs. There's all 32 teams. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Jigar Darji down to Oliver Soria in the spot that he won. Let's put all those names in here. Four to four, hard eight for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got the New York Football Giants down to the Seattle Seahawks. Now remember to trade at your own risk, but trading is allowed while I actually take a look at this case and see which half we're going to do. All right, so Darji, you got the Giants, Adam with the Ravens, Jake with the Cowboys, EA with the Cardinals, Sean with Washington, Denver and Atlanta, Nicholas with the Patriots, Matthew with the Packers, Karen with the Chiefs, Ben with the Browns, Corey with the Jags, EA with the Raiders, nice, Josh Jacobs hunting, Adam with the Bengals, Mike with the Panthers, Jake with the Texans, Vinny with the Titans, Ryan with the Bears and Vikings, Adam with the Bills and Lions, Clay with the Buccaneers, Ben with the Steelers, David with the Eagles, Sean with the uh, Rams, Bill with the Colts, Sean with the Niners, Mike with the Saints, Adam gets his Jets, Alex with the Chargers, Matthew with the Dolphins, and Oliver with the Seattle Seahawks. All right, so let's get all that on one page and sort by column B. If that is a little, might be a little too small if you're watching on a phone or something, but if you need to see your teams again, let me know. Now, while you're considering trades, let's consider which half we're going to do right here. So, that's 2019 Contenders Football. Yeah, there it is. It's a pretty desirable set, as most of you know. And contenders is it's got to be right up there with with prism and select maybe now mosaic but for like if you want like the key rookies along with NT of course but if you're looking for people's rookie cards they're like hey that a lot of times they're talking about this the contenders rookie all right so Six on the le re left side, six on the right side right here. Let's select a die. Let's select that one. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be one. So we're going to go left side right here. So this side, right over here, will be for break two, which is on the website right now. RT2, random team two. All right, sorry about that. All the, we can run this back tonight too. We just have to fill up the straight up spots and one filler pack, and that is that. All right, any trades? Bears up for trade. Keep the video running just for a little bit while the trade window is going on. Adam Kupperman is reporting <clears throat> that the Jets released Le'Veon Bell. He wishes that Adam Gase would go along with him. Wow. So where's Le'Veon where's Le'Veon Bell gonna go? I, he's healthy now, right? The Chargers maybe could use Le'Veon Bell? No, says Sean Chasby. Austin Eckler's out for four to six weeks. Doesn't care. All right. Who could use a Le'Veon Bell? Maybe he, he needs a little just change of scenery. All right, looks like no offers for the Bears, so let's close it up. T 
TWC means trade window closed. Let's print and rip. We got Tennessee up 28-10 on the Buffalo Bills. There's six packs, uh, six cards per pack, 18 packs brought. Looking at five autographs, including one on card. Cracked ice is what we're looking for, among others. Ooh, Lions? Yeah, that's what Sean Jaspi just said. Lions could be interesting. Who fills that roster spot, Adam? Is there like a rookie being elevated into that spot? Oh, LaMichael Pirine getting those touches? But he's already on the roster, right? Doesn't... Wouldn't there be an extra spot available? Yeah, Pirine's already on. Adam, Adam's like, yep, I'm sure someone awesome. Maybe Mim's coming off the IR, and then he fills that slot, so we'll see what happens. Can I play wide receiver? No. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> For a second, I thought I might, and then I realized no. I was like, I could be like, a, like an Edelman type. My best chance would maybe be <laughs> would maybe be I guess a linebacker where maybe I wouldn't have to cover anybody but I would just kind of run towards the offensive line and try to climb over linemen and try to get to the court. That would be the only thing I'd be able to do. Just kind of be a waste of space out there. But as long as I'm just not in the way and I'll just continue to, to, to blitz the quarterback at all times. And realistically, that's all I would do was just, would just kind of crawl towards, just try to, you know, I'm a, I'm a small guy, maybe weave in through in between uh, – in between uh, linemen, maybe. Maybe they won't see me. Like I'm a small mouse underneath the feet of elephants. I'm just scamper around their, their tree trunk legs. All right, there's uh, Josh Oliver and Quincy Williams, both on the same team right there. 57 out of 75. That'll be for the Jags. Corey. I can do it, says J-Dog. Just don't, don't go across the middle. I just don't think I have the... I don't think I could catch like a... I don't know. I'm sure Flacco and Sam Darnold throw, uh, they throw pretty hard. I think I might hurt my breaking hands, my case breaking hands. I'd have like a crook, I'd have a, 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 an index finger pointing the other way. Those passes might be too hot for me to handle. No, kicker, kicker, punter, no, I can't kick the ball. Long snapper, ooh, okay. I might be able to long snap. That might be the only NFL job. Like, if they just... How's your long snapper, Adam? How's the Jets' long snapping situation? Their first autograph, Deontay Harris, Saints. That'll be for Mike G. And there's... Jaguars, Josh Allen. Nice. Good pass rusher here. Speaking of rushing the quarterback, that goes to Corey and the Jaguars. GT is thinking Le'Veon Bell to the Bills. No, no issues on the punting side because Adam's pointing out that they do punt often, so they've gotten a lot of practice. Here's Tony Pollard. On-card autograph for the Cowboys. Oh, can we, 
I don't want to talk about it, but I don't think we've talked about it today. Poor Dak Prescott. That that injury was brutal. That goes to the the Cowboys, Jake Stacy with that. I uh I haven't seen an injury like that in a long time. Usually it's like obscured by another player or you can't really get a clean look at it, but he was in the open field. It was, it made my stomach turn a little bit. Rookie ticket, autograph, Kalen Saunders going to Karen and the Chiefs. And then me being me, I had to look up on YouTube what exactly happened? Like like a like like a doctor on YouTube. There's Drew Sample, and there was like a video. I forget who it was. Sorry for not crediting this, but there's a doctor on YouTube. There's Drew Sample for the Bengals, Adam Kupperman. Um, he the doctor showed what happened. It was it it, it looks like it's it hurt a lot. And I guess the scary thing is is the uh, is the, the the blood vessels. I think is really where the scary part is. is it, what's that? No, they're not gonna do. It. They're gonna they're not gonna do it. I I will, I I will cry. I will cry if if they actually come back. On camera. On camera. I'll just record. I can't believe I gave up on them and turned changed the channel. <laughs> yeah. or something. Sure, sure. I mean, with that bullpen, though, the Braves bullpen is pretty good. See Dak Prescott's ankle. I'll sh I'll show you guys what it what it looks like. Your your tibia bone and your I, I looked this up. No, no, I know what it is. Your tibia and your fibula lock around your ankle. Right? There's like little bones that connect on your ankle. It's like a TIE fighter. But it connects to your ankle, right? Like, and your foot sticks out this way, right? Let's, let's say your foot sticks out this way. <laughs> right, so these are your toes right here. This part snapped and that part came out. That's what it is. And that part flopped out. So there's like these bones that connect there. That part snapped. That part snapped. Yeah, it's kind of like this part flipped, and like a, slips like out. Your Paul ankle George. sort of joint there slips out. So Paul George is a little bit more worse, but this is kind of the same. Yeah, his is kind of the same thing worse. too. So those that connect there, and there's ligaments there and blood vessels there. See, like I was saying, I feel bad. You know, that's kind of sucks, especially what's happening with him. Well, and the but, like, but, but then I'm just like, you know, you know how many Cowboys fans were probably just laughing at once when he does Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. There's. I was like, now they're looking. For there's a bit of a. Like, oh no, no, it's not the same. Like, it's, <laughs> it's not the same, same right? And I'm like, dude, Dak has put himself in that situation to get injured two last two years. He's just been lucky. But you know, you know, Cowboys fans when Carson got targeted in the playoffs was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What if Dak's never the same? No, it's it's. The, the con I mean, allegedly, the, the Cowboys front office, I think Jerry Jones' son was like, oh, Dak's going to be a big part of our plans. They, you know, they didn't pay him. I know Zach, or Dak was kind of holding out for a bigger deal, too, but I don't know. I think there's some negotiations on both sides there. So just all in all, kind of a terrible situation. We'll see how all that shakes out. And now this guy, Ezekiel Elliott, will have to carry the load here. Here's John Brown to 175. 
Ooh, and points. Sorry. We'll randomize those points. That usually takes the place of an auto, but we'll randomize those points to one person in the break. If there's more than one point, uh, if there's multiple points cards, we'll just collect them as to, into one lot. And there's Trayvon Mullen Jr. Was actually one of the bright spots of that Raiders defense in that win. I don't know if defensive back uh, rookie cards are going to be skyrocketing anytime soon, but he looked pretty good, EA, in the Raiders. <laughs> Rex, you let me know if he does that one more time. Baltimore Ravens, Antoine Wesley. Ravens, Adam Kupperman. Won that spot. We got Jacoby Myers. Rookie ticket autograph for the Pats. That'll go to Nick Stone. Oh, and uh, Darius Slayton. On card autograph for the New York Football Giants. That's going to go to Jagar Darji with that. points right there. Wow. Buffalo Bills with a touchdown. All right, another five autographs to go. Got Still got three boxes left and the second half of this is in the store if you want to get that going. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Wow, dust off your TJ Yeldon rookie autographs. He's the one with the touchdown. And the two point is no good throws it away I actually don't know this rule you guys can a two point conversion be could it be turned over for points let's send it to Sean Jaspi with the answer you think so? Is it two? Yeah. It's oh. The same thing as if you block an extra point, I believe you can't return it. For a point? For two points. Wow. Because I think you can actually catch a missed field goal, right? If it stays yeah. in the field and run it back for three points? If you catch, if you catch a missed field goal, I, I believe it's set as a touchdown. A missed field goal is a touchdown? If Wow, that's a touchdown if you run it back the other way. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yes, Adam's confirming yes. Two points if the other team returns it all the way. Gotcha. Yeah, and I, I believe it's also if you block it an extra point, I believe it and like recover it cleanly, you can return it for two. You can return a blocked extra point for two. Wow. Some, those are the wild things in the NFL that I feel like we almost never see. I think I seen the field goal thing once. It was like a 55-yard field goal, and it was way short, and someone was back there to actually catch it and bring it back. Uh, that was... Who was it? It happened... It was for the Chargers. Did it happen uh, recently? He caught it. It was 109 yards. Something, yeah, it was something crazy like that. I'm trying to remember who it was for us, though. There's Le'Veon Bell. He just got, uh, he just got released. Who's going to pick him up? 50 out of 99. This goes to Adam and his Jets. He doesn't want this card. It'll go into his into his remember when box <laughs> of cards. There's Will Harris, rookie ticket. 
Rookie ticket auto for the Lions. Adam Kupperman with this one. GT saying was Cromartie that maybe? There's Dylan Mitchell for the Vikings. That's going to go to Ryan Kaysen and the Purple People Eating Team. And another pro. Oh, that's Ola B.C. Johnson. Right there. I think. Did, I, did he have a touchdown last week? I don't remember. I thought he was going to be an MVP contender, Adam. There's Le'Veon Bell, MVP contender. I, I thought it was. I thought it was a great pickup by the Jets. There's Brian Burns for Carolina. Mike Rosinski with that. I was just like, well, Sam Darnold is a running game now. He's get a decent receiver and sling it around a little bit. Brian Burns from Mike once again in Carolina. And there's another Tony Pollard. Rookie ticket autograph. Another one for the Dallas Cowboys. Jake Stacy with that one. boxes to go yeah they sure did Tyler Jets led that's what Adam re was reporting Adam Copperman and his Jets that's his team just let Bell just released him I guess he was just that bad or either I don't know or just didn't fit with the team and that's enough to get you released on a football team everyone's got to work in concert That's just bad luck all around. Adam said when they first opened the sports books in New Jersey, he put five dollars on Bell to win the MVP when he was with the Steelers. That was a season he sat out. Oh, but you also ended up with the Mahomes MVP. That's good. Yeah, allergies kind of firing up a little bit. 80 to 1 on what was what was Le'Veon's odds? Probably better than 80 to 1, right? Or shorter than 80 to 1. I want to say Nick also was it Lamar Jackson or was it Mahomes? I feel Nick. I feel like Nick also put put uh, put a little bit on on Mahomes to win the MVP that year. Yeah, Bell was probably shorter, 20 to 1 or something like that. That makes sense. I mean, I feel bad for running backs, but that's kind of why, like, you don't really, unless you get, like, an Adrian Peterson type, you just don't really pay those running backs for that long or for that much. Because you see so many, you see... DeMarco Murray just kill it with the Cowboys, get signed to Tennessee, and then just drops off. You see Le'Veon Bell kind of sit out for more money, this and that, and then he gets released by the Jets. No, Adrian Pierce is not doing much now in Detroit, but that guy's carved out like a 12, 13-year career. That's not common for... For running backs <laughs> you know like you just don't see that kind of longevity he was productive last year not as a lead back or anything like that but he was putting in work he was grinding out yards when you needed it does he have why does he have to oh is he does he have financial issues i see is christian mccaffrey to 99 He'll be back soon, Christian McCaffrey. Mike with that one.
We got Charles o Omeneu, rookie ticket, kind of die cut into the, into a like a ticket stub. Eighty three out of ninety four. That's a cool looking design. Texans with that one. Jake Stacy. Texans looking good in the first game without Bill O'Brien. You know, here's Melvin Gordon. I mean, he kind of held out a little bit and then was ultimately replaceable. And the Chargers can get a lot of value out of Austin Eckler. There's Travis Homer. Rookie ticket autograph for Oliver and the Seahawks. Yeah, it's looking like Derrick Henry. That's a good point, Tyler Brenner. Looks it's looking like Derrick Henry could be like an Adrian Peterson type. Like he can, you know, he can last for a long time. There's Antoine Wesley. Another purple bird autograph for Adam and the Ravens. And we've got for the Green Bay Packers, 11 out of 49 championship ticket autograph, Tim Boyle. And rookie of the year contenders, Dwayne Haskins on card autograph, 23 out of 25. Sean Maddock with the Washington football team. Dwayne not in a good spot right now, but I don't know. Still, he's still very young. Still could use a little marinating. Still could be a future for him. Maybe with Washington, probably not, but maybe elsewhere. If he needs a change of scenery with someone who wants to maybe design some plays for him, see what he can do. Yeah, Tyler thinks he can turn it around. I think so, too. I mean, I keep getting reminded that that he didn't play too much in college. I don't follow college too closely, but I think he only played like a season in college. It sounded like he didn't play a lot of games and then made decided to make the leap to the NFL. Maybe the Redskins probably took him a little earlier than they should have, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe, maybe won't work with Juan Rivera. I think he wants his own guy in there, you know, eventually. Cliff Kingsbury moved Josh Rosen to get his guy. I think most new coaches probably want that opportunity. Dwayne Haskins just needs to light and just needs to be a backup somewhere to somebody for a couple years or so. And then maybe just marinate and turn into what, what team could use that. There's ben, ben Roethlisberger's not getting any younger. You think the Steelers? Steelers give Dwayne Haskins a shot? Maybe? Probably not? Maybe? A lot of weapons on that team. Chase Claypool went off.
All right, there's for the blue horseshoes, Rock Yasin. That'll go to Bill and the blue horseshoes. John, what's going on? How are you? And we got Jelani Tavai. He's got some nice penmanship there. Jelani Tavai, 46 out of 99. He could be a guest speaker at Jaspie's autograph camp. That goes to Adam and the Detroit Lions, some cat team mojo. There's Jarrett Stidham on card autograph. That's pretty solid. Nicholas Stone with the Patriots. Still could be the future of that of that team. Who, Jelani Tavai is a local guy? That I did not realize. And we got Trayvon Wesco for the New York Jets for Adam and his Jets. And we got Zach Allen for the Cardinals EA with the Redbirds. So, this Raiders card is going to represent the the randomizer that I'm going to have to do. I know these are the same team, but I think there's a few cards with different teams on them. We'll go we'll go left right on that. And this we'll have to do a randomizer for separately cuz it's numbered 66 out of 75. So that'll be between the Titans. It's actually a pretty cool card. Between AJ Brown and the Titans and DK Metcalf Seahawks. So that'll be between Vinny and the Titans. And then um, Oliver and the Seahawks will do that same dice roll as the points right here. Final five autographs. Remember, we got the second half of this in the store, jaspiescasebreaks.com. About 20 some odd spots and one, just one filler break. That's it, to give away some spots. There's Derrick Henry with a nine yard touchdown. I think I actually benched Derrick Henry. I just thought this game wasn't going to happen. Though. And then all my guys played on Sunday, so couldn't put him back in. Another difficulty is to just trying to figure out. Now and there's all sorts of schedule changes now. For teams impacted by the teams that had COVID. Unexpected bye weeks, schedules being pushed around, games being postponed to later in the season. It's got an, another challenge of, 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 of the pandemic. Just got to figure out these, these starts. Starts and starts and non-starts. Starts and sits. That is what I was searching for. All right, final box, final five autographs. Good luck, everybody. Once again, second half in the store, jaspiescasebreaks.com if you're watching live. Nice, Tyler. We're making progress. I love that. I love it. 
That's what I like to hear, man. Thank you so much for that. Look at this. Tyler Brenner. Looking at the schedule proactively and realizing that Jason Jaspi is indeed going early tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, with Gold Label Baseball. Thanks, Tyler. That's the way it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully everyone can learn from that example. 11, uh, no, check that, 17 out of 75. Tom Brady, Patriots edition, Nicholas Stone. When's Jaspi's going to do another 24 hours of breaking? Um, although now that we have Sean Jaspi on board, it might be a little bit easier to do a 24-hour stream next time. Actually, technically, we're all... <laughs> you know, Rex, we actually... Sean, Sean's right, if you heard him in the background. There's Julian Love for the Giants. There's some nights where we're doing almost 24-hour breaks regularly. Because Jason will go live, like... At like 10 a.m. sometimes for a major new release. And then usually on a major new release, say Sean's doing late. I'll do my eight-hour primetime shift. There's Rodney Anderson. And then, you know, Sean could do it like another seven or eight hours and get out at the, maybe the 20-hour mark. So we're kind of doing it already on the regular. Adam with the Bengals. And a redemption coming up. Forget who the redemptions were. There's uh, oh, I thought it was another card. Jake uh, Jake Dolagala for the Bengals. Adam. Wow, fumble and a pickup by Tennessee. Dunzos. And there's Taysom Hill, on card autograph for the Saints. That'll be for Mike Grzynski. That's a veteran ticket autograph. Debo is Tyler's guess. I guess, I don't know when the, I probably a, a Bowman product. A Bowman product would probably be the next like scheduled 24 hour break. Where we like promote it and make a thing, make a big deal out of it, and all that sort of thing. <laughs> Rex is like, you know what's funny? He thinks that Sean Jaspi isn't even a real person. He thinks he's AI. Maybe a cyborg? He might be a cyborg. <laughs> we'll see. And how many days will you come in the next day? Yeah, of course. No, you will. <laughs> He'd go six to six and then, then come, come in, in for the like, next shift. Like wow. All right, we'll have to test that some someday. All right, the final autograph of the break before I do those randomizers is DK Metcalf. Nice rookie ticket variation RPS DK Metcalf for the Seattle Seahawks. Oliver with that one. He won that spot in the lone filler break, and he's having a great season this year. There you go. All right, now, some randomizing to do. All right, do I have a couple blank? I need a few blank lists here. There's one, two, and three. So let's go back to the list here. Everyone's, everyone's got a shot at the 250 points from EA down to Sean Maddock and the Washington football team. Get all your names in there. So name on top. We'll get. It. We'll use one dice roll for all the lists. For the generic round numbers cards, the ones without numbers, just the base versions, we'll just do a left-right randomizer uh, going by the back of the card. And then the one that was numbered, we've got to do separately. That was Tennessee, A.J. Brown on the left side, and D.K. Metcalf, Seattle, on the right side. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for all three lists. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, looks like it's Jake Stacy. There you go, Jake. I'm not sure if I. Oh no, you got a couple of Tony Pollards. You got an extra 20, 250 points as well. Six into two, eight times for the left, right. One, two.
And eighth and final time, that'll be for left side. So I know these are the same teams right here, but all the left side teams will get the uh, non-numbered round numbers card. So that other one was numbered. So let's go six and a two, eight times. Tennessee, that's Vinny. And Seattle, that's Oliver. Good luck to both of you. One happy person, one sad person. One, two, three. Seven, good luck. And eighth and final time. Flips to Seattle, the DK Metcalf at the end for Oliver. And now the round numbers, round two numbers card. 66 out of 75 also for Oliver. A little bit of cardboard dust on there, but there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone, for joining in on 2019 Panini Contenders Football. Six box random team at number one. Second one in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.